will you welcome the mighty Lee Evans, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, sh I only sat here for a second. Come on, what do you want to do? Come this way or that way? Uh, well, I'm a trained burglar. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you lock me out, I'll be getting in at a moment's notice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will come down there. Nah. Which way are you coming? I'm coming down this way. Well, are you okay there? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> Wait. I got it, I got it. Uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right. Oh, oh you can see me tackle, look. <laughs> Lee Evans, ladies and gentlemen, making it. <laughs> That's quite an excellent. Now, what are you doing? You have three Leave balls. our tree. <laughs> three balls. Who say I not juggle with three balls? <laughs> hey, juggle. Hey. Wow. Oh. Wow. That's really impressive. Come and sit down. I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm worn out already. Oh, I'm God. worn out already. You've worn me out. Sit down, Lee. Relax. Take it easy. Do oh, you ever relax? I've just shit me pants. No. <laughs> Come on, sit down. No, I really have. I have. Sing! <laughs> <laughs> what, what a very festive start to the interview that is. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, okay. What are you doing for Christmas, Jonathan? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what am I I've doing? gone burgling. I, I'm no, you're not. I'm relaxing. At I surprised home with the, the burglar the other day. Did you really? Yeah, I broke into his house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so uh, you must. In... <laughs> Did you lose something last time you were on the show? You, you... There might be some change down here. That Jack <laughs> D's been on here, hasn't he? <laughs> We used to do that on the estate. When anyone would come round our house on the council estate, we used to go quickly, well, as soon as they left, down the back of the couch. The... <laughs> Did you find much? No, there's nothing, no, one got, no one's got anything. Hey, now, Lee uh, used to be a boxer Yeah, years that's ago. right. Do you want to fight? I mean, no. <laughs> Did you ever get a serious blow on the chin or the face? Did you ever get knocked out when you were boxing? Oh, loads of times. That must be horrible. They used to call me cauliflower ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a Max Miller joke. I don't know. <laughs> is it? I don't know. <laughs> I just made it up. But uh, right. no, I used to box. I always came. I was really good. I always came like third. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, because I went the other week. You know, I went to the XL Centre and watched the boxing there. It was fantastic. Now was that a big match? That was a big match, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Audley Harrison. Audley Harrison. Yeah, and I, I got in there. I said, listen. I said, listen. <laughs> No, I, I'm not a fighter. <laughs> They're trying to ban boxing, and I think it's a great sport, it's a great discipline. I don't know what would happen if they ban it. They're just the ref in the middle of the ring going like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what would happen, you know. But, uh... <laughs> How was the match you saw last week then? Was it a good oh, it's match? It's fantastic. I just like to sit there and watch it. But people are sort of chatting and stuff like that. But I do like the art of it. I like the discipline of it and all that. So it really is the skill. I mean, being a boxer yourself, I guess you can appreciate that, what they're actually doing out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I mean, I, I'm not a big connoisseur of it. I just like the, uh, watching, them, um, watching them do it. But do you, <laughs> do you. But what do you enjoy about it? Do you. Uh, you know, two half naked men. <laughs> Oiled up. Oiled up. Greco Roman wrestling, I like as well. <laughs> I went to. I, I, I talked to which? Yeah, talking of Greco Roman wrestling. Yeah. Where is this going to lead us? <laughs> I went to. I went spark. to. Because my we, my wife was having a go at me, and I, we went to the George Michael concert the other day. Now, how was that? <laughs> was, uh, oh, he's mate. Greek. I suppose there's a link there somewhere, isn't yeah. there? <laughs> Uh, OK, so George Michael, now this is a tour, I haven't seen this tour, I've heard it's oh, fantastic. it's fantastic, yeah. absolutely brilliant, because my wife loves him and she booked the tickets and we had such a great time. Yeah. I was dancing, man. What was he singing when you were dancing? Um, he was singing, uh, um, I do it all over the shop, I think. Before you go, go. Yeah, I do it in the kitchen, he does it in the lounge. <laughs> yeah, he does it in the conservatory. Yeah, all over the place. All over the place, you know. I'm thinking of the golden solo, he, yeah, wake no. me up. Before Let's go, you go outside. Go. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Let's go outside. This is what I was doing. Well, don't laugh at him. Help him out here. Sing along. And then I went, and then I said, Go on, Georgie boy! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that's what I did. Well, that's lovely. What a nice, uh, 
just an outpouring, and George would love to see you doing that. I bet he was singing away, and he looked up and said, the bloke having a fit in the top. <laughs> People used to say that to me in clubs. Are you pissed? I go, no, I'm dancing. <laughs> but wow, you've got a lot of energy, haven't you? Oh, amazing, isn't What's it? your diet? What do you eat to give yourself so much energy, Lee? I'm on all diets. So I have California diet, GI diet. You try them all? They're all the American ones. So I don't get it, because they're all still fat, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> now, he, last time I saw Lee performing, I saw Lee live, and he wasn't doing comedy. He was on the London stage in the West End here in a brilliant play, which I wouldn't probably have gone to see in this unknown, you know, and Liz Smith was in it as well as you, the oh, brilliant yeah, yeah, Michael yeah, yeah, Gambon yeah. was in it, yeah. it's uh, the Samuel Beckett play Endgame, what a, it was a tremendous, exciting piece of theatre, uh, and you were fabulous in it, you know, yeah. it was a difficult role, because it was a physical role, which we know you do, but also it was proper acting as well, and it must have, <laughs> 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 well, no, you were great in it, and it must have been, I would have thought, quite daunting, you're on stage with two of the best living British actors that we uh, have in well, the country. I mean, I, I really do, yeah, well, obviously, you know, working with Liz, oh, look, there it is, look, yeah, there you are, isn't it? I used to use that bin, I used to go and have to open the bin because Liz was in the bin. She lived yeah. in the bin, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. And it, it was like on a late Friday night, um, if we had a few accountants and that, and you know, the pinstripes, yeah. like, sort of asleep on the front row, like, uh, yeah. I'd really bash that lid down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd go like that, bang, like that, and they'd go like that. Oh! It, it was obviously it was quite a sombre piece. It was funny as well, but it was quite sombre. Uh, oh, I love Beckett though. It's a lot deeper than. You, did no, you, it's no it, it was brilliant. Text. But did you find do people pay attention or did you have coughing going on and phones going off? I think it, you know it depends on the uh, acting. Because um, if you really get into character, I think you can really convince people of your uh, character in the play. No, I really do. <laughs> who, who was that meant to be? <laughs> that was me doing the impression <laughs> that was your of an actor idiot. Self. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, because I, it's just uh, such a brilliant play. Okay. I think and, you know. It's... But you must love it I, because it's a big commitment. I know it's a lot of time, and I know you were in the producers last year as well, which is obviously yeah. a big drain in your time, and it's a, it's a lot of energy needed for that. But it's a different kind of thing. You're doing a, a, a more straight play again next year, aren't you? Uh, yeah, no, it's, I, I, I'm trying to. What are you doing? I'm trying to do um, an Arrow Pinter play because I love him. You know, because uh, he's very similar to Becky. Yeah, way. yeah. And uh, we're trying to get this dumb waiter thing on the go, and I'm just hoping. Which hasn't been performed for years. Because he's it? like the main man, really, Harold Pinter. So well, he yeah. acts himself as well, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah well, he's a genius. Yeah, yeah. He's a genius. Uh, Lee's also going to be on TV next year in a thing which uh, I thought was going to be on at Christmas, and they moved it back. Yeah. Um, but it's a, a drama on ITV based on. Is it a drama? It's kind of a comedy drama, I guess, isn't it? Um, yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah, based on a, a novel by the great H.G. Wells, Mr. Oh, Polly. Yeah. Now, well, once, what's the attraction of this for you, and, and what are you playing it? Well, number one, H.G. Wells. That's the attraction. Yes. If, the, if you, if you, I try, I'm trying because I'm such an idiot. I try to delve into some of the uh, um, more the things that might educate me that I might be able to learn something. So, so you I try you, to dive into stuff like so that. So it's a challenge and it's a learning experience for you as well. Absolutely. Oh, That's okay. what life's all about. You yeah. know, it's all about learning and challenging yourself. And uh, H.G. Wells, I, I, uh, it was, I couldn't believe it came along because it was, um, it's the, it's the, I, if you read the book, it's the closest to H.G. Wells' life, really. Yeah, well, he had it's, a quite strange life, didn't he? He had a slightly odd life in the fact that part of this film, in fact, is sort of based loosely on his life. You know, he was a drapery assistant, apprentice and all that, and he, uh, he had a couple of wives and a bird on the go and all this. Were they, wives in, the, the were they wives in the same family? Was it a wife and a cousin or something? That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, he married his cousin, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, well, this is obviously it's a period piece. Yeah, that's When's right. When's it set? Is it Edwardian times or late Victorian it's times? set in the future. Nice. <laughs> 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 yeah. When's it set? Yesterday. <laughs> no, we went out of the pub and done it. No, it's uh, um, um, Edwardian, uh, 18, uh, 18th century, 1894, 1895. That's Victorian? Yes. Okay, well, okay. they were uh, in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen them old black and white films. <laughs> they were looking ahead. <laughs> <laughs> OK, this is Lee. Uh, and you play the title role, don't you? Uh, hey? You're Mr Polly in the thing. I am, yeah. Let's have a look. This is now not going to be on until next March on ITV. I'm not going to watch this. Lee Evans. Have you not seen this yet? I don't like it watching myself. Why not? I don't know. Do you mind if I just kind of dip me head a minute? Uh, <laughs> I think you should watch it and then we can yeah, talk about right, it after. OK. Go on and show it. Quick, okay, here quick, we go. quick. This is Lee Evans as Mr Polly. You didn't, like, you didn't want to watch it. You are a very good actor. You are a very good actor. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, before you go, Lee, I know you know you're, it's a, you're an interesting character because you're obviously you're, you're full of life, you're full of energy. You know how to entertain and perform as well as act uh, seriously. But you also, I, I know you are on this kind of learning curve. Are you writing something at the moment? You're writing. Is it a drama or is it a book based on an unusual subject? Uh, no, we've, we've uh, Stuart and I, my writing partner, uh, sat in a darkened room for like the last. Four months. Right. And uh, what are you working on? I'm working on a script called uh, about Hitler's weatherman. 
Hitler's weatherman. Yes. Now, that sounds like a joke. Is it a, is it a jokey script, or was there really, did Hitler actually have a weatherman? Oh, yeah, well, of course, all, all people that run a country or, or you're running a war ha have, a, have a weather centre, a weatherman. Right. And uh, this certain weatherman um, got m uh, most of the predictions wrong. <laughs> Which was probably good for us, but bad for Hitler. Absolutely. And um, he, he got, like, the Russian front wrong, all the German troops, they froze to death. Um, Michael Fish, he got it wrong. Um, <laughs> didn't he? It wasn't quite as tragic. Yeah. Though, we? I won't tell you the ending. I'm going to get on the piano. Okay. Yeah, and we're all going to sing together. All right, we're going to sing Ooey Annie over the fanny with the flounder. No, we're going to sing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, are you all ready? Are you ready? All right then. <laughs> sing. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, right? My wife, she don't understand me because she's Chinese. <laughs> oh, uh, you give me a coffee pit. <laughs> Lee, as always. All together. It's been a pleasure. Mr. Lee Evans, ladies and gentlemen. Lee Evans, a powerhouse. <laughs> Lee, thank you very much indeed. You, so you made me cough. Yeah. Lee Evans, thank, thank you, Lee. You I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, uh.